one objective. Today we will practice our tense division facts. Okay. Remember that yesterday we were doing, we were reading this story, right? Can we read the story right now just for the 60 penguins? Okay, can you read it for me? 60 penguins are going for a walk. They split into 10 equal groups. How many penguins are in each group? So we were trying to find out not how many groups, but how many penguins were in each group, right? And just, I know that we did some of them and we didn't finish some because I wanted to review a little bit of what we did yesterday today. So what we're going to do now is we're going to finish that chart and I want you to use your blocks to model this situation that we're going to about, okay? So how many penguins do you think we're going to have? Look at the chart. Look where we left off. So we're going to have how many penguins? No, 80. 80 penguins, right? So can we read the story just one more time and then you show me with your blocks how to model this situation right here, right? Everyone, three, two, one. 80 penguins are going for a walk. They split into 10 equal groups. Uh, can we say that again? 10 equal groups. How many penguins are in each group? So that's what we're trying to find out. Can you show me with your blocks how we can find that out? How many blocks did you get there, Octavia? Out of your bag? Out of my bag, eight. You have eight little blocks? No. Or eight groups of ten? Eight groups of ten. Okay, so you have how many little penguins in total? In total. How many oh. penguins do you have in total? Eighty. Eighty, right? Okay. How many do you have out there, Jasmine? How many penguins, how many blocks of ten do you take up? Eight. And what is this that you're holding in your hand? Oh, you're going to put it back. Okay, thank you. Abner, how many groups of ten do you take out? Eight. Eight, okay. And for a total of how many penguins? Mm -hmm. Total penguins, Eight. how many? Eighty. Eighty, eighty, thank you. And Bernard, how many groups of ten? Eight. Eight groups of ten. Okay, now show me if they split into ten equal groups, how many penguins are in each group? Mm -hmm. Are you done, Abner? How many groups do you have here? Eight. You have eight groups? <gasps> Let's look at the situation here. Can you read this? They split into? They split into equal groups. Oh, oh, let's read it together. Into how many groups? Ten equal groups. Do you have ten equal groups here? And how many do you have in each group? Eight. You have eight in each group, okay? Do you have, how are you doing here? How many equal groups do you have? Eight equal groups, and we're trying to get to how many equal groups. Okay, can you show me how you can form ten equal groups? How about you? Do you have ten now? Yeah. Okay. How many do you have in each group? Eight. Eight in each group? Right here? Eight. Eight, okay. And Bernard, what did you find? Eight. Eight. How many? Eight. Eight in each group, right? Jasmine, how are you doing? You have two, four, six, eight equal groups. So you have 80 penguins, right? How can you get these penguins? Remember, they like to walk in 10 equal groups. What could you do to make this into 10 equal groups? If you wanted to form two more groups, what would you need to do? What could you do? You could take some apart, right? Okay, try to make them into 10 equal groups. Wait a minute, the last bit this one. You have two, four, six, seven, eight, nine groups now. How can you make 10 groups that are equal in size? <coughs> the rest of you for right now, could you start working on this 
problem and show me how you solve this, and then I'll check back with you. Okay, can you show me now 90 penguins walking into 10 equal groups? Do you have it? Okay, so now you have 10 groups, but how many penguins do you have all together here? Can we count them? This is one group of how many? 10. So you have 10 groups of 10, 20, 80, 90, 100. And how many penguins did we say it was? I'm going to put it up here. Okay, so do you have the right number of penguins there? Can you just leave me 80 penguins? Okay, all right, so you took two groups of 10, and now you have eight groups of 10, which is 80. So, but how many groups do we have? We have one group. Eight groups, and we need how many? Ten, okay, so could we take some of these? To make another group and another group to make 10 groups. How could you do that? Okay, you want to think about that and show me that you have 10 equal groups of 80 penguins, okay? Okay, class class, my little class class. Yes, yes. Okay, let's go back to this one and let's fill this out, okay? I know that you're already working on the nine, but if you remember, your ear, you want to stop for a second? Let's go back to this one, right? And we said that there were 10 groups of eight. penguins, and we're trying to find out how many groups of 10 penguins were in 80. What did you find? Can you show me? If you have an idea? Bernard, let me start with you. When we had 80 penguins and 10 groups, how many were in each group? Eight. Eight. Did, you, did everybody find the same thing? Do you agree with Bernard? Yes. Okay, everybody found that there's eight penguins, okay? Now, this one that you're doing, the one with the nine, Abner, let me start with you. So now, how many penguins do you have total? 90. 90? Okay. 90. And how many groups, uh, Jair, do you have? You had 90 penguins into how many groups? 10. 10 groups. And Ashley. So, 90 penguins, 10 groups, how many were in each? Nine. Nine. Okay. I want you to look at the charts, everyone. Look at the charts, look, look what we did yesterday and today. Do you see a pattern? Show me if you have an idea. Do you see a pattern? Jair, could you share what your pattern is? The pattern is that each number gets higher and higher by each. What, when you say each number, which number? Like this number in this column. One, mm -hmm. one, there are one, two groups of one penguin okay. and ten, and then it goes to there are ten groups of two. Okay, so this number is going higher and higher. Yes. By how many? Do you notice? By, by one. By one, okay. What did you notice at this? It's going by one, right? One, two, three, four. Okay. But what what else do you notice? That's going by one. What do you notice about the other numbers? That year has an idea. I'm sure Bernard, you could have an idea too. But listen to the question. What do you notice? Some uh, some of you notice that this is going up by one. What do you notice about the other numbers too? Abner, you're also thinking. What do you notice? If you add a, I think I would one and you add a zero, then a two, then a nine. Oh, it looks like you have a one and you're adding a zero. Okay, so what does that mean? It's, like it's going by what? Ashley? Tens. It's going by tens, right? Do you notice that it's going by tens? Yeah. This is going by ones, this is going by tens? Yeah. Okay. 
Jasmine, I'm going to help you with this later, okay? Just, I will help you how to make those equal loops. That you make, actually, that you, oh, it looks like you are doing it. Okay, you're working on it, okay? I'll let you finish that, okay? And you are doing 80, 80 penguins, okay? So we'll talk about that in a second, all right? So let's look at this. We were talking about the number of groups, right? So here, we're starting with how many penguins? How many penguins total when you have 10, right? We have 10 penguins. I'm going to write penguins here very small so that you know what I'm talking about, right? 10 penguins. And they're going into how many groups did we say? Into how many groups? 10. 10. And so what we're trying to find out is how many in each group. I'm going to write that right here. How many in each group? And what did we find when we had 10 penguins going into 10 groups? How many were in each group? 10. Think about that. 10 penguins. Show me your 10 penguins. And if they go, each, each of them goes into 10 different groups, how many will you have in each group? One. What do you think? Or not? One. What do you think? One. One? Do you agree? One in each group, right? Right? Remember? You have 10 penguins? And each of them goes into a group. How many groups are you going to have? One. One, right? We did that before, okay? I want you to help me with this one, okay? Let's take this one. Let's go down to this one. Now we have how many penguins? Ten. Ten. Oh, oh, look at this. Thirty. We're looking at this one, Abner. Okay? We have how many penguins? Thirty. Thirty penguins. And how many groups are they going into again? Ten. Ten. Ten groups. Can you help me finish this equation? Use your use your whiteboard, write the equation, and we're trying to find how many in each group. And if you need to use your blocks to figure it out, go ahead and figure it out. I mean, do it with your blocks. Or write the equation if you know it right here. Okay. Which one are you doing, Jasmine? Are you trying to do which one? How many penguins? Can we try? Let's do this. Can you have 30 penguins? Let me find them. 30 penguins. And can you put them in 10 groups for me? Can you do that for me? 10 groups. Oops, I just wrote GRO, but that means groups, okay? Can you show me that? 30 penguins, so start with 30 penguins and show me that they're in 10 equal groups. Start with 30 penguins. How are we doing? Can you show me? Okay, so what, can I see Bernard? Can I see Abner? Okay, so can everybody read that equation for me? Three, two, one. 30, 30 divided by 10 is equal to three. And I have a question for you. What does this three mean? What is that three? What does it represent? Show me if you have an idea. What does this three mean? Is it the total number of penguins? Is it the number of groups they're in? Or is it how many are in each group? Show me when you have an idea. I see Jair has an idea. Bernard has an idea. And Ashley, let me start with Ashley. What do you think? What does the three represent? I think the three represents how many are in each group? What do you think, Jair? How many in each Okay, and Bernard? How many in each group? Okay, and Abner, what do you think about that? Um, what about what they said? Do you agree or do you have a different idea? I don't agree with that. What do you agree with? That three represents what? That three, this number three, what does it represent? What does it show you? Zero, I will 
but mm, we're not taking a zero off. Okay, we have 30 penguins. And what are we doing with the 30 penguins? What are we doing with those 30 penguins? We're putting them in what? Into how many groups? Ten groups. So what does the three show you? <coughs> there are three in each group, right? I think that's what you're trying to say. There are three in each group, okay? Could you help me with one more equation? One more, okay? And then we'll do some more um, tomorrow. Okay. All right, so let's look at this. Okay, everybody, Bernard, are you with me? Yeah. And that means you're not touching your blocks. Okay, everybody's eyes over here. So in this case, we have how many groups of penguins? Ten. Ten. Okay, and we have how many penguins total? Fifty. Fifty total in ten groups. How many are in Five. each group? Five. How many are in each group? Five. Five. Could you write an equation to show me that there are 50 penguins, they're, in, they're going into 10 groups, and that there are five in each group? Okay. So did you get your 30 penguins? Let's start. You know what? I'm going to take this away. Okay. And I'm going to give you 30 penguins. Okay. Do you see how here there are 30 penguins? How many are here? 10, and you have three groups, right? So 10, count with me by 10. 10, 30. Okay, but now, how many groups are there here? How many groups? Three, and we're trying to get 10 equal groups. Can you show me that? How can you make this into 10 groups if you only have three right now? Are we ready? Yes. Okay, let me see. Oh, I see a multiplication fact in a division fact. Okay, you know what, Ashley? To, not tomorrow, but the day after. We're actually gonna be seeing how multiplication and division are connected. You know, right? Okay, you too? So we're actually gonna do a, um, a little chart where we can show how division and multiplication are connected, okay? So I like that you did that. Okay, so can you help me and read that equation that you wrote? Okay, and why am I writing 50? 50 what? 50 penguins. I'm going to put a P right there. 50 penguins are going into 10, 10 what? 10 groups. We need to know what each number means, right? And I see that you have a 5 as a quotient, okay? What does this 5 mean? Oh, think about it. What does that 5 mean? I wrote that 50 penguins into 10 groups. What does the five represent? Mm -hmm. Tell me when you have an idea. Let me start with Bernard this time. What is this five? What can I write here that explains what the five is? Uh, answer. Mm. The answer to what? Uh, what? Oh, but tell me, is it five apples? Five penguins. Five penguins, five penguins what? Five penguins. Why five penguins? Because they're in each group. Oh, in each group. There are five penguins in each group. Okay. Um, Jair, can you tell me what that five means? There is five Okay. Thank you. And Ashley, do you agree? Okay. And I'm going to use this in a couple of days. I see that you have that multiplication mm -hmm. fact. Okay. okay. All right. Boys and girls, so today we learned a little bit. We're going to we need more practice how to write an equation or a situation, like a little story, right? And that has to do with tense. Can you tell me something that you learned today? Maybe you got more practice and now you know how to write an equation better. Maybe you learn what each number means. What did you learn today? Show me when you have an idea. Abner, are you with me? Show me when you have an idea about what you learned today. I see the three have an idea. Okay, let me start with you, Abner. What did you learn today? I learned that um, when I, we learned about um, 
Division. Division. With what number? Ten. With ten. Thank you. Uh, Bernard, what did you learn today? I was going to say the same thing. Okay, say it again. It doesn't hurt. We about, um, Okay, division problems. Thank you, Jair. There's patterns. There's patterns. Okay, and you were able to see some of those patterns. Thank you, Jair. And Ashley, what did you learn? Today I learned what the angles can move and the division before they move. What the answer means in the division. Okay. I'm glad that you learned that today. Okay. Jessica. You know what? I'm going to get you into a small group, and we're going to work on making um, numbers like 20, 10, 20, 30, 40 into groups, into 10 groups, okay? All right.